Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Laws video. Today, we're going to be going over the Dragalia Digest that came out for the 2.5 year anniversary. There's a lot of stuff to go over. I'm still trying to get over a lot of things. There's a lot of good things that are going to come up, and you're going to see why I'm so excited, so happy. I, I'm i loving a lot of things pictured in here. So that's going to be today's video, of course. If I skip anything, forgive me. There's just so much to go over. I will be going over the Galabander units in a separate video, but for now, I just kind of want to focus on specifically the Digest, because, of course, they released the info on the banner. Um, I'll record that a little bit later. But anyway, that's going to be today's video. As always, you can comment about anything talked about in the Digest. What are you looking forward to the most? You subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff and you can like this video so let's get into it first here's the gala banner it's coming march 26th in some countries it is i guess march 27th um it is of course gala Knot. and if this is a spoilers if you have not seen it but pretty soon you're gonna see her everywhere it's gala Knot in her giant form big big woman form aka not i believe not aka hot is the official naming for big Big Knot, I think I can just play her here. Yeah, here we go. Huge, in charge, and it looks like this is going to be a Dragon Drive. That's one of the things that was explained eventually in the news. Um, looking forward to that, but she's not the only banner that's coming in that banner. As we can see here, we have... That's Miriam. If you don't know who Miriam is, Miriam is the woman Mim is based off of, aka this is basically Mim Zero, Mim Prequel, Mim. It's another Mim. It's the... I literally said, when I was asked to do a, a collab video, you know, to say, what are you looking forward to in Dragalia Lost this year? I said, I don't know, maybe a new Mim? They have given me a new Mim. She is Wind. Uh, she doesn't interfere with- unfortunately, she's not fire. The only way they could think of making a new Mim is to face it off of the old Mim and to make her a different element, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, it's okay, it works out. Uh, she's a wind unit. It looks like she's gonna be able to summon Brunhilda, is what I think is gonna happen. Actually, let me double check on that real quick. One moment, I can actually check on this. Okay, she doesn't. She just has it in the back of the art. But still, cool, these two are gonna be coming. Oh my god, I'm basically strapped. Whatever I was saving up, I was saving up specifically for the chance of a new Mim. Here we are, and now she's getting featured with a gal unit that I've been wanting since basically she showed up in the chapter. The one I wanted the most. The one I've been asking for. I actually, it's someone on my disc on um, a good, the trash the Trash Alliance Discord, but between the founders, whatever, it's a friend Discord. They look, he looked it up, and I had actually been asking for a gala not since 2019, so I'm glad for her to be in the game. Um, looking forward to that. So, of course, presenting Galadragalia. There she is, Miriam. Um, what's the deal with Galanot? Big. So, this is her, I guess, tiny fairy form. This is her, I'm big. And this is her, I'm big and I want power form, is the best way I can kind of sum it up to it if you have not seen the actual Galadragalia. So, let me see if I can find very quickly the... So there should be nine summons coming. So okay, so let me stop here. Platinum showcase. I was saying that I would liked it. I would have liked it to be a platinum dream ticket, but it looks like they're going to be kind of doing this, which is expected. You know, the platinum better with at least one uh, Galadriel adventure is guaranteed to appear. I'll be interested to see how it goes. This is basically kind of useless to me because I'm only really missing one or two. I'm missing Jean and I'm missing Shell. So can't really use of it use of it but if you're a new player it should be pretty good for you especially if there's a chance of you getting multiple i don't know if gal units are the only units on that banner but we'll see here's a 2.5 year anniversary bonus of course it's going to be mercury great she looks adorable there i always love it when we get a little mini versions of it um we got mini mercs we got a champion's testament some rupee, rupees a blessed ethan ashes some wormite 1000 200 away from 1200 i noticed that i always notice that but it's fine a five worm print of the holodrome's advent, elder water, demiscus ingot, wormite of a thousand again, so never mind, I take back what I said, they're actually giving us way more wormite, statement rescinded, and a sunlight stone. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad. So let's see, now, here's the value packs, the superior orb pack, the diamantium pack, full facility upgrade special, I don't really buy these, but if you do, ooh. Sunlight Stone Quad Pack, Diamantium Mega Pack, Unbind Pack. I know buying base Dragalia stuff is kind of bad, so if you're looking for a deal, this is pretty time good time to get a deal. 
uh, presenting at Dragalia Lost official Twitter campaign. This will be the Twitter campaign, as always, three randomly selected. Fuck you, Mayo, for getting it uh, one time and being a punk. Ooh, 10,000 will get this. This is some good stuff. So obviously when it comes out to retweet, retweet it. Um, I say, I'm trying to find where it says 9 multi. One moment. Decided to just get it from my Twitter. <laughs> so shout out to my Twitter and some of these, some Shade and Soto Neko, uh, who follow me. Uh, presenting a daily free tenfold summit event. It's going to start from March 26th until April 4th. Uh, summon up to 90 times for free during these nine days. Pretty good. Glad it's there. Um, now we can go back here. This trailer was going on in the background. So this is the next event, the trailer for the next event. But let me see if I can just quickly go back to actually the Gala Banner. So as you can see here, obviously we aren't going to be able to use it all on the Gala Banner because the Gala Banner ends on April Fool's Day. Um, so obviously the next banner will be this one that we can use it on. Featuring Dawn of the Dragons, um, which features Human Midgar Soma, uh, Alberius, uh, Elysium, and regular Chthonis it looks like to me. So we haven't really we don't really have info on that, so I don't know how they're gonna break it down. Uh, if you don't know who this is the event is also called Dawn of Dragalia. If you don't know who Alberius is, he is literally the dude, and this is supposed to be where we find out what's up with Dragalia. Um this is kind of how they're breaking it down. Second half begins on March 30th. Part one is this one, so I assume if there's a two-part banner, um, it would begin right there. But we'll see. So that's the event. Pretty good. This is Naughty Notes. I'm not going to go too into it because it's currently in the game. I haven't had enough time to play around and mess with it. But it's in the game now, which is good. We've been waiting for the encyclopedia for a very long time. Let me see. Quality of life improvements. This one's good. Maximum player level increases to 250. Maximum skip tickets is 400. And skip tickets can be used on all types of quests, including void battles, which is good. Um, this is going to be crazy. New quest, Trials of the Mighty. Take on bosses that we've basically kind of fought in the past, but they said that some of them are going to have new kind of stuff to them. So we'll see what that does. But also, in these specific quests... We are going to get the ability to unlock Mana Spirals for Gala Dragalia Adventures. Now I'm going to assume that these are actually the first three. Some people are saying it's every single Gala unit at the beginning, but here's what I'm thinking is that the actual Gala units that are going to be available for the fight are going to be the three we, we saw, which was uh, Thor, Poseidon, Zephyr, and the first three are going to be Ranzel, who does not need it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, the prince and Ellie. But to be fair, we don't know a lot. Once we actually see it released on, I believe it's the seventh, we'll know a little bit more. But as you can see right there, that's what it kind of looks like. The Gallop Prince's things. They've kind of limited to what kind of things. I think giving Gallop banners mana spirals is a little bit dangerous because Gala, a lot of Gallop units are the strongest that they can be. Like obviously Gala Mim. Gala Ranzel don't really need it, but at the same time some other ones could like Cerise. Cerise definitely needs one. Poor Cerise, she needs one so badly. So I think it's time for them to start doing it. I like the approach of them doing it this way because it means that it kind of solves the issue of like, well, what if we just kind of made it a slightly more annoying to get them full spiral so it's just not day one everyone has these super busted crazy ass units, so... We'll see how it goes. And also, you can see here, it gives the nature's bounty, so either way, it's going to be worth doing these, and I'm going to have to man up and get my butt ready for them. <laughs> That's how I'm going to have to plan it out. Um, some upcoming feature improvements. Unlocking all five mana spirals at once and use auto-unlock on mana spirals. Very good. Level of facilities from a centralized location. Thank you. See what teams are most popular by taking various high-difficulty quests. Very good for new players. And new sections for Nazi's notes, which is pretty good. Um, say hello to some new allies. This is Saiga, which I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name. He says the name right there. Isaac. And this is the crazy one. Summer Alex. He confirmed summer units in this, which I was like, oh crap, I have to start caring super hard about summer. I don't want to think about summer when I have new Mim in the horizons, but she looks super good here. I really like her style. It's not used to seeing Alex in this way, so it's pretty cool. Um, so presenting new Rise of the Sinister Dominions and Agito Uprising quest, end of March, Celia's Wrath, late April, Rise of the Sinister Dominion, Judge... Jado Dobayev, Aya and Yoyaka's uh, Wrath Legend, Dominion question mark, Tartarus Wrath Legend, and question mark question mark. And I believe he shows some bosses. Yeah, there there's the multi-armed someone. 
This one I assume is Jabba Doof. Two part CD. This is showing up the upcoming so uh, story stuff. If you want to be spoiled, then I won't show it to you. I will say it's really funny that um, this part right here where it says the prince and friends. Cerise is not on here. <laughs> Somehow fucking Shell got on there. Even though she's, I get it, she's her um, sister, but still, it is really funny that Cerise isn't on this photo when she was so heavy in the beginning of the story. She's a galley unit. It's so, it, whatever. There's also some other people not mentioned, so obviously, maybe it's just literally who's involved with the end story, so I won't complain too much. So, the Fire Emblem Heroes Lost Heroes and Kindred Ties um, is coming to the event compendium, which is very good. There will also be a summon showcase with them available later. Hopefully this comes with the mana spirals for units in Fire Emblem Kindred Ties. Tiki doesn't really need one. At the, at the beginning, I think a lot of people, including me, underrated Tiki, but she's actually an extremely solid unit. Peony is still very good. Basically, the only ones that really need a um, mana spiral are Sheena and Krom. Or Krom. Poor Krom. Krom has the potential to do so much damage. And he still does do a lot of damage, it's just so focused on one thing at the moment. But, okay. Um, so obviously this makes you think, okay, next event uh, collab is going to be pretty obvious, and it's going to be Fire Emblem, and you would be wrong. It is actually Rage of Bahumet. It's going to be coming in late April. Um, we'll hold an event featuring Vania. Don't know. They said there's going to be a summon showcase, so we'll see who else is going to be involved. But Rage of Bahamut sounds pretty solid for a collab. Wasn't Some people were totally expecting it. I was thinking Fire Emblem Heroes, but I'm glad for them not to be going into Fire Emblem Heroes. So it kind of makes, when they do announce Fire Emblem Heroes 3, it's a little bit more exciting. And here Not says that here's a multi. And before we end this video, let me do a quick check to see anything else I may have missed. I'll be right back. Yup, and here's one of the things I missed. It's Fabeless Tobias, so... We'll see how this one goes. Um, they said she's going to be working with someone, but it seemed pretty clear it's it's Mine, seeing from back there, but or Mean, or however you pronounce her name. But I think that's it for the Dragalia Lost uh, Digest. Obviously, I'm going to be recording a video with my thoughts on the actual Galabanner units. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video, man. I'm sorry if I missed anything. There's just so much to go over. The anniversaries are over, always super hype. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, you can leave a like if you ended up liking this video. Tell me what you feel about the Dragalia Loss announcements, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day, and have a fun adventure out there. Goodbye.